As we know, I'm not a chef. This morning, I took a very long trip to the grocery store. We are going wee wee baguette in this bitch. That we will be serving tonight five lovely individuals. <laughs> this is what I call the cloak of the housewives. Wide arrangement of things going on. That is Cookie's breakfast. Sorry. I found a blog online that tells you how to make a five course French meal. Everything is going to be French. And it's actually quite cute. At the grocery store, I noticed that half the things I bought have a little French flag on them. We are going France. Welcome to Paris. We didn't make it to Europe this year. I've actually never been to Europe. Don't know when I'll ever get there. But we are bringing Paris to the suburbs of Colorado. So I'm going to start with the crust for my tart. Preheat the oven to 410 degrees. I do know how to do that. It's pretty freaking stinking hot. Step one was pretty easy. Cut butter into small pieces and place in a medium sized oven proof bowl. Is this oven proof? No. Definitely not. One ounce of butter. Add the oil to the butter. This, ladies and gentlemen, is what you call a clogged artery. Boom. Delicious. The least appetizing thing in the world is just butter mixed with assortment of liquids. Finely granulated sugar. The tiniest little cup ever. Midge bit. Place the bowl in the oven until mixture is bubbling. What? <laughs> Okay, I didn't make the recipe. I'm just following the recipe. It's telling me to put this bowl of butter and assorted liquids in the oven until it starts to bubble. Is anyone here I need advice? I don't match. Is it okay to put a bowl of butter in the oven? Okay, bowl of butter goes in the oven. Have a good time in there. It says to leave the butter in the oven for 15 minutes. There is no way it's gonna take freaking 15 minutes. Alexa, set a timer for five. Five minutes, you dumb whore, I just said that. I just said that timer for a different duration. Four. Alexa is such a snotty bitch. I feel like I should move. <laughs> Beautiful clean cup of flour. Is it done? Oh, it's not even close. Stir, oh, we're making dough. Oh my God, I'm making dough. I thought I was making something chocolate, but I'm making dough. The bowl be very hot. Immediately add the flour. Stand back a bit as the mixture may splutter. Oh my gosh, this is high physics. The recipe calls for good quality chocolate and this is the best I could find, so. I mean, I think it's pretty good. It only calls for eight and a half ounces and this is nine. So I'm just gonna eat a few. Alexa, stop. This thing splatters. Oh my, what in the hell is going on? I'm supposed to transfer it to the big daddy. You know, before me and mom got married, she was making a pie crust once and I made a comment. She got all mad because it was doing something like this and she watered it all up and she threw it at me. Good thing she didn't throw the rolling pin at me. Who? Nice. Just says all over, so I'm just going in no specific order. Wow, this is really satisfying. That's my pie crust. And did you make it? Or yes, I made it. Do you want a job? What? You could cut the potatoes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, she's already prepped and ready. Yeah. Second course is going to be a French country salad with arugula. Okay, we're gonna need a bigger bowl. Asparagus. It has hit three o'clock and I'm starting to feel a little restless. Ugh. These make your pee an extremely uncomfortable color. Grandma cutting the potatoes. Very tastefully drizzle the olive oil all over this. I don't know how much. Just drizzle. Whoa, okay. <laughs> Massage it all in. I got some Himalayan pink sea salt just because I thought it was gorge. A tasteful. Okay, that was also pouring. My hands don't do the light well. I just have to go all in. I can't do it lightly. Whisk up the salad dressing. We have this cute little Dijon mustard that specifies that it's from France. This could go very wrong. Ah! Some of the Parmesan in now. 
squares of butter on the top. This is a very yellow dish. One step closer to success. Okay. The asparagus that just came out of the oven. And we're gonna pop these suckers in. This is a highly anticipated event, apparently. Got this goat cheese. It says crumbled goat cheese. They didn't have any. I asked the person working there. They're all out for the holidays, but I figured maybe we could crumble it ourselves. The cutest little goat on it, and it says it's a drunken goat, so I am matching the energy. Give it a good squeeze. I have never been so aroused by freaking cheese. Oh my God, the cheese is so good. That is the best cheese ever. Okay, now you want these in there too? Mm, I don't know if it's because I'm a little tipsy. Okay. Nice. The salad is done. The dressing is done. We're gonna wait to put the dressing on though. That looks crazy. Potatoes done or are you gonna cook it more? Uh, we gotta cook it. It says to put the rest of the cheese on. Now we're gonna put it back in. We're going to do a ricotta and fresh pea toast. The toast has something to do with prosciutto. I don't even know how to say that, let alone how to cook it or deal with it at all. I think I probably needed more than this because this doesn't look like very much. I had to ask the guy where it was because I know nothing about, what is this, pork? Okay, well this is handcrafted in Iowa, so it has to be good. I don't think that I'm really a pork girl. Hopefully this is cooked right. I really have no freaking clue. Are you kidding me? The freaking peas are everywhere. They exploded. I <laughs> think. Reservation at five? It's only 4.30. Oh. My Ferrari drove quicker than I thought. <laughs> Butter croissants. Even has the Eiffel Tower on it, so you know we're legit. Cut these little croissants in half. I used all the Parmesan cheese in the potatoes. I know that this is not how the chefs would do it, but we're not gonna tell anyone. Cutest little baguette. One over here. You all get to rate our restaurant. Is it on Google? Not yet. What's your restaurant called? Uh. Is it on Yelp? Have you no. passed food inspections? No. <laughs> vegan menu. Are you vegan now? Yeah, as of this morning. What'd you eat for breakfast? Captain Crunch. Can I interest you in a drink? Uh, yes. I'll take a Bud Light. It's not a wine. good pour there. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's taught you how to pour a wine? I know you're supposed to swivel it like that. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, my gosh. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers to Morgan's to be determined name of the restaurant. Okay. For the first good. course, we are having a charcuterie board with bread that I didn't make. This reminds me of the batch of the food. Is it rubber? The cheese is good. <laughs> <laughs> Brie's not my thing, but I like the goat cheese, so I'll give it a name. I wonder what this is. Stacy, she mm. is the only chef in the family, so she might have the most <laughs> reliable rating. I give it a 10. Oh, 10. <laughs> I give it a nine. nine, only because I needed more of these little crackers, whatever they were. I'm all like the miniature potatoes. Actually, uh, chocolate covered almonds. Mm -hmm. I'd give it a 10. This is as good as I've ever had. This is good, this is a 10. Any French brioche baguettes Whoa. with ricotta cheese, peas, and bruschetta. I don't know what the heck that is, oh, but... Wow. You have practice saying all that? <laughs> oh, wow. Oh no, my just... gosh, those look delicious. <laughs> Short. Short. Just Very pass good. this little puppy around. Here you go. Thank you. Wow, these are really different. <laughs> she bought stuff I'd never seen before. That's like better than bacon. Yeah. Is it good? Wow, better than bacon. Oh, it's really good. That's high praise. But keep in mind, I haven't tried anything that I'm serving you, so I'm kind of just going into it blind. <laughs> hmm. The peas aren't as offensive as you think they would be. I didn't know there were peas on it. <laughs> it's all that French you were speaking, that must have... Wee wee. Trinity's Polish. Maybe you That has to be close, it. right? Yeah, probably around the same area. <laughs> Our third course tonight, we have an arugula and asparagus salad 
with goat cheese and beets cut by grandma. I feel like I'm gonna need to like shot. tip you or I know. something. But we're in France. You, you wanna keep that bread? <laughs> Let me show you what's going on though. I know. Oh, oh. One for you. Wait, can you see it yet? Thank you. Yeah. One for you. Why? I see you. Uh, Why can't really I get good. the camera to go around? Oh, from scratch? I whisked this bitch. This tastes like you just plucked it out the garden. Ten. Like, I want you can't that. You just give me a ten because I'm your kid. I can't. No, I'm serious. I could eat that every day. It was really good. And I don't like arugula, whatever it is. <laughs> ten but out now of I ten do. equals twenty. Mm. Come on, we need a brutal jug. It was, it was great, Tan. <laughs> on the arugula? Mm. That's what that is, right? The, no, that's the, the toast. Oh, we're talking about salad. See? Salad, I'll give it a seven. <laughs> okay. I'm just not a big beet guy. Okay. But no, everything else is good. I like the sauce on it. Mm -hmm. The salad was fresh. It's for so the good. toast? Nate, just because I didn't think it was actually better than bacon, uh, mm. the meat on top. Okay. It is better so I was a little disappointed about the meat, but it was good. And <laughs> eight is an honest rating. I give the salad a 10. Woo! Yes, that was really good. It was very fresh. And then I give this an eight. It was really good, and I like the ricotta and the prosciutto. But I, I don't know, the peas, I wasn't a huge fan of that. Ten and ten. It was yeah. delicious. We're like, wow. I love peas. I love want to eat like stuff. this every you day. You love peas. Yeah, I do. I don't know if I've <laughs> ever met someone that's confidently <laughs> like, I love peas. I hope that this isn't cold. If it is, you can microwave it a little bit. Potatoes au gratin. I don't know how to say that. That's oh bullshit. God. Parmesan asparagus and Parmesan chicken. Wow. Use the knife at your own freaking risk. For you. Thank you. Fantastic. Wow. Whoa, people. Wow. Armina, is it cooked? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you forget to cook it? I gotta say, I know you know why. <laughs> it looks done. Does it taste done? The Last Supper. Oh no, it does not <laughs> taste done. <laughs> the cook so feed you something that she didn't need. Could be a prank. You didn't wow. even look at it. Oh. Mm. <laughs> I give it a 9.8. Well, that's considering that you had to put it in the microwave. That's why you didn't get a 10. 10 for me. Yeah, I'm gonna say nine because it was questionable on the chicken. <laughs> the taters are a 10. Okay. The chicken is six. Oh. Um, potatoes a 10. I give the chicken an eight. It had really good flavor. I think it's a nine. Wow. But I'm too full. She didn't eat any of it, so I am cautious. This is what the whole housewife experience is. Yeah. Cook and clean up. So, for our last and final course, we have a French chocolate tot with a crust that I mismeasured a little bit, so there might be something a little off about it. Thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, it is What wonderful. are you laughing at? <laughs> I think I'm gonna throw out my first 10. I can taste it's so <laughs> amazing. Where you the butter. <laughs> <laughs> the crust. I know, yeah, the crust is missing like a half a cup of butter. <laughs> it's crunchy. Oh, it's the pie crust isn't the easiest thing to make. The pie crust, we were running all over. Shit was flying everywhere. Like, the <laughs> butter was sizzling out of the bowls. You'll be getting an invoice from me. Uh, 10. I'll give it a 9.5. Because the crust was a little... Crunchy. 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 It was good. That's the 10. I'm great. 10. Jeez, you guys are easy critics. This is good. Wow, that was great. I'll give it a 10. <laughs> Thank you all for coming to my restaurant. Thank yes, you. Sir. He just whipped that out of his pocket. <laughs> <laughs>